IBM has produced a lot of design icons in history spanning more than a century. From uh, magnetic tape drives, whose spinning reels represented computers and movies for decades, to this electric typewriter, to the ThinkPad, uh, very few firms have had the visual impact that IBM has had when it comes to representing technology in popular culture. Today's IBM, of course, is as focused on services and software as it is on devices. So with that in mind, IBM just opened a new design uh, studio or product design studio in Austin, Texas that reflects the way they now approach design throughout their complete portfolio. In this video, I will share a quick behind the scenes look at the new 25,000 square foot space that was designed for collaboration and serves actually as a showcase for the future of creative work. Everywhere you look in the studio, you'll see quotes and design cues from renowned designers and architects who have worked on IBM projects. The Ames chairs throughout the studio pay homage to Charles and Ray Ames. Contributions from design giants such as Elliot Noyes and Paul Rand are also among those recognized at the studio. Most of the floor space is easily reconfigurable by project teams, including the corner workspaces with stadium style seating, video screens, and lots of movable whiteboards. Teams are encouraged to collaborate even when there's no discernible common denominator for the projects. But when there is an expectation of overlap between a big data project and a Watson team project, for example, they're located in close proximity to facilitate serendipity. I noticed that every team has one thing in common, extensive use of post-it notes to represent atomic ideas and to generate conversation. Phil Gilbert, IBM's general manager for design, says his team has already used over 80,000 post-it notes and that's easy to believe. They've even developed an internal iPad app to put electronic post-it notes on a screen. And CEO Ginny Rometty used the giant post-it to reinforce her mantra of be essential. IBM is creating the culture of design and that's been supported by sending over 60 product teams through their new design camp which teaches design thinking and the evolving IBM design language. We'll close with a few words from Adam Cutler, the Austin Design Studio Director, on the basic principles in use throughout every project. So these are really our, our overarching principles for IBM design. Um, the first being works together. Works together isn't what it has traditionally meant for IBM, which is uh, we're creating things that work within the blue stack, so to speak. Mm -hmm. but the reality is there isn't a blue shop out there anymore that we coexist with our competition on a regular basis and so when we say works together we want our software our products to be able to be seamlessly integrated into whatever platforms people have but ultimately we're providing them the capabilities that they're looking for so okay. works together means works with our stuff for sure mm -hmm. uh, but also works well with others uh, to provide people what they need. Okay. The second one is uh, works the same. Uh, one of the th one of the problems that our software has suffered from in the past is that uh, it varies wildly in terms of look and feel. And one of the things that we're trying to do here is to bring everything together under a common design language. And that works the same means that you can pick up one IBM product and use it and with very little cognitive overhead jump to another and know that these things work very similar to each other even if it's in completely different use cases that the overarching interactions work the same across our entire portfolio. There's some common thought in the design. Okay. Yeah and then the last is works for me and that doesn't mean me personally but it means the person who's actually using the product so uh, typically, software companies market towards the person who buys the software, especially right. in enterprise. Uh, so there's the buyer and there's the implementer. And almost never do they focus on the actual end user. And what we're trying to do when we say works for me mm -hmm. is to focus on that person who sits at their desk and uses our software on a daily basis. And if we can help get people to their kids' soccer game uh, early yep. instead of late, if we can help them not work a weekend or focus on other tasks that are more strategic or more valuable than some rote 
repetitive task over and over again, we're starting to achieve the goals that we're, we're setting out to do. So that's really, those are the, the, three, the three overarching principles that we're shooting for. Works together, works the same, works for me.